In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite routes in Madden 24, and it is the C route out of the corner strike in the gun bunch formation. Now, this can be found in a lot of different playbooks. You actually can run this out of the West Coast playbook. It's probably the best version of the gun bunch formation. I'm in the Pats playbook today, but the same play is in both of those playbooks. And the reason we're calling this play is due to the fact that we have a C route on the left-hand side. So you might be asking, you know, what's a C route? A C route is essentially, if you look at it, it kind of looks like a backward C almost. Um, but basically the whole point of the C route, if you watch how this runs, it's kind of like a rounded corner route, and it's really good. It, it, last year's Madden, it was a little bit better at beating man coverage than it is this year. But as you saw right there, a lot of times it's unbumpable against man coverage. And the really cool part about C routes is let's say that your opponent puts an outside third over there. If your opponent puts an outside third over there, if you watch, this C route is going to cut to the sideline, and you can kind of throw it back shoulder. Now right there, the defender did play the route, and we're going to show you how to get that route open consistently, uh, no matter if you're playing a man coverage or zone coverage. So to get this route open consistently, all you really need to do is take your running back, and we're going to put him out into the slot position. By putting the running back in the slot position, we're going to put him on a streak. And what you're going to see is because he is on the numbers, he is going to interact with an outside third defender, meaning that an outside third defender is responsible for taking that streak deep up the sideline. That's going to result in that outside third defender kind of clearing out. And there's this wide open pocket in which we can throw that outside receiver. Now, this is also going to apply here. I'm going to put him on a quarter zone. So I put this outside guy on a quarter zone. And what you're going to see is the same basic result. Just simply pass lead down and outside and you're able to beat cover four and cover three. So, so far we're able to beat cover four, we're able to beat cover three, and oftentimes we're gonna be able to beat main coverage. Um, occasionally the C routes in this game do get bagged, but I've, I find that the corner strike C route is a little bit better at beating man coverage um, than you know maybe like the double post C route, for example. Now, if they shade their coverage outside, um, that is a little bit of a, a different deal. What I would recommend is if you see right there, you can actually click on and essentially ag catch it before it gets to that player. But another little pro tip um, or tactic that you can use to beat man coverage is to just simply drag your tight end. So you see this might be a route combination that you might like to use or even just do a little backside zig curl, really whatever you wanna do to kinda hedge your bet against man coverage. The main uh, purpose of this though is it really puts them in a place where they have to respect your solo wide receiver side in your bunch formation. Now, you might think, as I certainly do, well, what if I just take a you know Tampa 2 approach? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the left side uh, outside corner in a cloud flat. And what you're going to see is this C route kind of gets over the top of a pressed cloud flat. So really the only way for them to defend this is they have to take uh, a little bit more of a double Mabel style of approach. What that's going to look like is now I have to double Mabel over here on the left-hand side. And then on the right side, obviously, you can do whatever you want. Um, but what this is going to do for us offensively now is we're going to be able to go with a route combination like this. And a lot of times what will happen is this tight end drag will actually come across fast enough, and then you can throw this in route in behind it and get yourself some easy uh, yardage. Another thing you can do, though, is because we kind of know that they're forced to play cover two, is we can put this slot receiver on a streak up the middle of the field. We have this guy uh, streaking up the middle of the field as well. And then what you'll see, typically people are going to play a double Mabel, which means they're going to play one on both sides. And then obviously the user's in the middle of the field. What you're going to see in this situation is this uh, streak route can actually burn the cover two over the top for a big play for your offense as well. So as you're starting to see, they have to kind of do a lot of different things uh, to cover the C route. And this is what makes it so effective. It's pretty much a guarantee that if you're if you're facing somebody and they're running press man to man or they're running outside third, you know, whatever adjustments they might be running here on the left side, you're gonna have a lot of success if you motion that running back out and put him on a streak route. The rest of the routes on the play obviously are up to you. As I said, I really do think if you're worried about man coverage at all, using a, a, the cool part about bunch is you could put your tight end on a zig. So you could run a route combination like this 
get a little natural pick, natural rub, and then let your tight end beat man coverage to the sideline. Obviously, you have a backside curdle in the middle as well in case they are running uh, some type of zone. But all in all, I think this little corner strike setup here uh, is really, really, really effective. Now, it would be perfect if we could you know, leave the running back in the backfield, but what you can do is – you can put your running back on a wheel. The one tip I have for you is if you want to put your running back on a wheel route, what you want to do is you want to be to the short side of the field. So you want your bunch to the short side of the field. And then what you'll see is now we can actually motion this in route outside. It's going to give us a little bit better spacing in case they do run a double Mabel setup. And then you'll notice that the running back wheel will still clear out those deep zones and you can throw this C route underneath it. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook where we go over pretty much everything you can do out of Bunch this year, and we do it out of the West Coast Bunch and the Bunch Offset, make sure you join the Patreon. That's where you get access to all of my offenses and defenses. It's where you become a better Madden player. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.